In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. O God, our Redeemer, 
You have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor, he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him. Though indeed he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by an art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent. Because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this he has given the assurance to all by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the psalm, let the sound of his praise be heard. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to sleep. Let the sound of his praise be heard. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You have brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. Let the sound of his praise be heard. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. Let the sound of his praise be heard. 
And the second reading is from the first letter of Peter. Who will harm you if you are eager to do what is good? But when if you, but even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. But in your hearts sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an account of the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear so that when you are manly, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh. He made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which is prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is